Hey guys, Steve here. How you going everyone? Well, I'm in the backyard and yes, as you can see, I've got the awning out. It's bloody hot outside, so I thought if you watched me last previous video, you would have seen that I did a little bit of a review on this and uh, walked around and showed you how I deployed it and all that sort of thing. But uh, come home today because um, I've got another product I want to show you. But uh, I thought I'll put the awning out because it was really hot outside and having something that only takes like 30 seconds to put out, that's great. Like I've just put it out here. I've got my bits of fly sitting around behind me there that I need for my job in there. And... Uh, over here I've got my bit of uh, carpet here that I'm going to use with the ply. Okay guys, I'll just show you around my um, battery I've got here. That's a 75 amp hour AGM battery. And over the other side there I've got my start battery with come with the car. Now I had this dual battery put in about four years ago. It's been great, but lately it's just starting to show signs of wearing. This is my BC to DC Red Arc charger that I've been using with it. It's been great. But, like I said, this battery here is just starting to show signs of not holding a charge. So, I'm, this is what I'm replacing, but I'm going to keep using this BC to DC with my new lithium system. So, let's have a look at it now in the back of the car and see how I've installed it. And uh, in the back, back of the car here, well, we've got everything. I've wired all this up the other day, pulled all my old drawer system out of the back of the car here. And... Uh, I've got my new iTech World Slimline battery all wired up. Just got to build all the boxes and everything around it. It's been running great. I've had it. I've had the fridge running for two days now, and uh, the body voltage of that battery hasn't dropped below 13.4 4 volts. It sits on about 13.5, and over overnight, um, had the fridge running, cycling all night. Got in it this morning, 13.4. Bloody beautiful. If it stays like that, I'll be really happy. So that's it there. So great looking battery. Um, and you can see there, if I show you this top down view up there, look how slim line is. Like look at that uh, Coke, that um, Pepsi can there. You can see the profile of it and the width of the battery. Weighs 12 kilos. That's it. So, and then up here, I've got some. Um, Got my fuse panel now it's all wired into that so what i've got here i've got a 50 amp um, cutoff switch so i can press that and that's where my main power is coming into this then up here i've got twin usbs cigarette lighter socket and i've got a fuse panel here which i've got my fridge wired up to because i never take this fridge out of the car i've got another one in the trailer and i've got another spare fridge I've got just as many fridges as Buck's getting. And in the back there, if you have a look right there, I've got my um, compressor, which I've mounted in there. And it's it's wired up and running straight along here. And it's wired straight into this battery as well. So if I want to air up my tyres or anything like that. And then down here, I've got my Red Arc uh, battery BMS. So as you can see, it's... Um, I don't know whether you can pick that up, but it's on the lithium profile and it's um, just on stage at the moment. You might be able to hear the fridge cycling in the background there and it's running off the solar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my drawer or well, my storage system back in here again. I had to pull it all out to get this in. I did have a little bit of a gap in the back here before when I, if you look at my previous video I did on when I built the, the storage system in here. Um, you'll see what I did. I'm basically going to do the same thing, but I'm going to build a box in front of this, um, put some more styrofoam in the front of it, and then this does sit a little bit above the height of the back here. I'm going to build a little lid thing that goes around here and cover it. I do have a, um, another thing that I put in here, a little uh, cage, a protector to stop things flying forward, so that'll go up there. And then I'll have a little box lid over here, so if I need to access the battery, I'll still be able to access it. And um, in here, all this part here will all be my storage system, which I'm going to build out of that ply that's out there. So, 
love doing jobs like this. Um, like I said, cabinet maker by trade. Um, I did build the drawers around the back here a few years back and they've been great, like um, modified them a couple of times. I've got these uh, new Drifter Stockton poles in here now, which I can use with the awning. Um, and I can still, and I can actually use them with as legs on this table as well. So I'll probably keep those in there and you can see they just fit in there bloody beautifully. And got my fridge on a slide. Um, then all this will be for storage. A few people have asked me why I didn't put that battery there, that battery there up in here. Well, main reason is because I've got the compressor in there. That's where I wanted to put it. It's not overly noisy. It's not overly noisy in there. And it's just a matter of hooking. I pull the fridge out, hook the hose up and turn it on. That's it. I didn't want to put it over this side either. I've got other plans there um, for other things I want to do. And the other reason too is I wanted to try and keep all the weight. I know there's not a lot of weight in that battery. I had That's got a dead space there anyway, and I wanted to keep the weight in the middle of the vehicle. So that's another reason why I did that. But uh, yeah, like got my drawer systems here, keep my little ARB compressor there, but they've been great. I built those years ago, so, and then I've got this little IGT little slide out table here too that I can pull out. We can take out of the vehicle and use, but uh, should be good. So it's uh, just a matter of um, getting into it now and uh, getting it all built. So we'll get into it. I'll show you a little progress in the way and uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to you know, hit the like and subscribe button. And uh, if you want to know anything, leave it in the comments. So all dressed for the part in the Superman gear here. So let's get into it. Okay guys, just thought I'd just show you where I'm up to. So these are the tubs I was talking about. I bought these from Bunnings. Like I said, they're a little bit worn and dusty because they're part of my old setup, but just rehashing it all. So I just wanted to show you what I was doing. So I got this board here cut. That's gonna go up in the back there. I'm gonna put two pieces in between here on either end. This piece here in the middle will be screwed to hold them together. Then I'll have this front board here which will go up there. It'll get screwed in through here and there'll be a piece on the other side. And then there'll be a board that'll go through the middle here. Another one at the end, one on this end here. And then the top pieces will go in to support the top. So, and then I'll cover it all with a um, carpet. So that's, that's if you wanna know what I'm doing and how I've did it, um, like I said, if you would watch my other video, you'll see how I did this platform on the bottom here and pulled the seats out and all that sort of thing. It's basically the same setup. Um, don't want to get too much into it, but just changing it around a little tiny bit just to, to for the battery there. But you can see how much room I've got in there that was sort of just dead space really, but um, still needed to be used because I had to have a gap here because this pokes out through the back here. Um, a board will go underneath there and through there and uh, the battery will be covered as well. So uh, all fun and games and uh, we'll get into it and get some more done. I'll show you a little bit more progress when we get a bit more done. Hey guys, well, just thought I'd show you another update. I've got the basic framework just about set out now. As you can see, I've got the box for the battery system. They're all made up, drilled out. Got some foam in there to stop it from rattling around. So uh, should be good there. It shouldn't get too hot in here because it's the coolest part of the car. So the actual um, BMS, it's way in the cool down there. So should be good. So this piece here will be the part for the drawers so just got to finish making all the dividers and everything up in here and uh, sit the two tubs in there and uh, we should be good to go so uh, looking pretty good so well, I just got to get a top on it fit my top panels in make a lid cover for that and put all the new carpeting around it to tidy it all up so looking really good Okay guys, well, 
pretty well got it all done now. So I've only got uh, one little more job I've got to do. I had to order a um, battery monitoring system um, with with a shunt that um, I got it from iTech World as well, the same mod that I got the battery off. So I've ordered that the other day just so that I can um, have everything cooked up to the shunt so that it'll give me an accurate battery percentage because all I have at the moment is this here, which is just a voltmeter. It tells me that the battery's you know, at full charge, but as you know, with lithium batteries, they run a little bit different and um, they'll run right down and still show that they're sitting basically at 13 point something volts before they go flat. And I don't want to go on flat in case something goes wrong, you know, some solar panels aren't working or something like that. I need an accurate idea of what the battery's sitting at when we're traveling. So um, that'll be the last thing that I'll put in. It's on the way. It's not, not a big job, just a matter of hooking all the earths up to one side of it and you know, mounting the um, piece itself, but that'll be something I'll get in. I'll put a photo of it up on the screen so that you can have a look at it and see what I'm talking about. But let's just uh, show you what I've done. Okay, so here we go. So this is it here. I think it looks, you know, pretty good actually. So I've just got my little drift uh, bottle opener there and got me travel buddy down here. So that's where I keep it, just behind the seat. So when the seat goes back, it just goes have it about there and doesn't really heat up or hurt anything so just pull that forward so it runs up to an Anderson plug just here so I've got an Anderson plug there for that which runs up and it's fused up in to the fuse box up there so over here I've got my cargo barrier back in again so that was the one I made um, on a previous video, if you have a look through my old videos, I might uh, leave a link in the bottom um, just so you can see which one it was. But uh, that was some just some stuff that I bought out of Bunnings and made up a cargo barrier. But down here, I've got my um, that's the box for my battery there. So I've got little air vents in the top there just to keep it cool, and I've got a little bit of a room around the bottom there as well. So, but it's in the coolest part of the car. And I've just got that lid there that sits over there and um, protects it from damage. So, like I said, um, if I need to get to it, um, this panel here is removable. I've just got to pull these screws out of here and lift it out. And um, I can access the uh, wiring or anything down there. So, in the back there, like I said earlier, I've got my compressor. Just got my fridge out at the moment because I've had a few drinks in it and um, showed you all the wiring there with the 50 amp fuse breaker, circuit breaker. So that's there if you're wondering what that is. That's not an armrest or anything, that's for my little dog. Um, I just have a lead tied up here and she has a bed sitting here and she likes just you know laying down up here so she can look out the front window, so that's for her. But in here, I've got my little boxes, so I'll just sit that up there, so I'll show you what we've got in here. I've um, got a heavy duty jack in there, uh, Atlas, paper Atlas, in case the uh, menu, the electric one breaks down. Um, got a little Thunder, um, bought this ages ago, but I've used it a few times. Um, little Thunder Buddy jump starting kit, it's got all the gear in there actually started a guy's 200 series with that for him. He had a flat battery where he was camping and uh, left his lights on and the interior lights on in the car and uh, so jump started a 200 series Land Cruiser and a few other cars. So I just keep that in the, the back there in case I do have a flat battery for any reason. Uh, then I've got all my recovery gear, shackles, soft shackles, bloody snatch ropes, uh, my air hose for my compressor in the back there, just another bag with my winch control, um, jet boil stuff. Just a, I've got it, that's just a spare one, um, but great for just putting all that sort of stuff in there and uh, just having this uh, al aluminium strip I put all the way around it, just gives it that professional look and uh, it'll protect all the edges. So I meant to say too, those up there, they're my solar puff lights. So they're, they're brilliant lights. They're um, 
battery, well, they've got a battery inside them and all you do is put them in the sun and uh, charge them up during the day and they'll burn for about eight hours. There's a couple of multicoloured ones there, which, you know, blue, greens, yellows, and then a couple of white ones. And uh, normally when I'm driving, I just throw them up on the dashboard of the car and get them charged up before we get to camp and uh, we use them while we're camping. And we'll just come around the other side here. Have a look in here. This is the other side. So it just gives you a better look at that little box there. The fuse panel up there. And in this side here, uh, we've just got a hiking bag that we take when we go on hiking. We've got some jumpers and that there for in winter, dryer's bones. Uh, that's me. Um, Indie flight. You've seen the other video with that. Terrific. Keep that in there. And that's about it. So I've got to paint these still underneath here, but uh, be something I'll do later on. But uh, come up really good. So um, I'll just go back around the other side out of the sun here now. That's another good little thing I got for the FJ the other day. I bought that at uh, Bundaberg at um, Bundy Outdoors. It's just a little organiser there. I haven't showed it before, but I've just put it up on the dash there and my wife puts a mobile phone in there and all that sort of thing. Terrific little product that's um, made in Australia. So, um, yeah, great canvas, fully sewn, stitched. So we'll just go back around the other side here. And uh, so... Hope you've enjoyed that build. Um, just check out my other video if you want to have a look at uh, you know, how I put all those boxes together. Um, I have shown you in this video a little bit, but thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. Um, really helps out. I'm getting heaps of views and uh, um, really fantastic. So thanks very much um, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.